All right, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Japan. My name is AJ, and today we are going to be checking out and comparing the best sounding, most realistic amp plugins made by any company Neural DSP. <laughs> What you just heard was my favorite Neural DSP plugin with processing and drum backing. Now, what I want to do is record a little thing so that we can run through each amp by itself without any sort of backing and no processing. Let me show you what I've got loaded in Cubase here. So you can see I have an input channel that is recording my guitar DI. The only thing it has on it is a tuner. There is no processing at all. Then you can see I have a channel here that has all of the Neural DSP amps in it. The Nameless, the NTS, the Omega Granifier, the Archetype Pliny, the Archetype Nolly, the Archetype Abasi. I am only using what's in these amps and I'll only have one on at a time. You see that there's a plugin called Recabinet 5 after them. The reason that's there is after I go through each amp, I'm actually gonna go back and turn off the cab section of each amp and use my own custom IR so you can hear the amps by themselves with no differentiation from the cabs. Again, no pre-processing, no post-processing. You see what's going on here. Oh, there is one more thing some of you might ask. There is an L2 limiter on the mastering section. It is literally just limiting the signal so that it doesn't peak so that when I record this, it's all good. That's it. So, Let's get into it and record something simple so that we can hear each amp. One thing I can say is they're all pretty dang metal, that's for sure, and they just sound awesome. The responsiveness of these amps is incredible. And of course, with pre-processing, with post-processing, you can make them sound any way you want. They're just awesome. And in a minute, I'm going to replay that riff that I played at the beginning of the video with drum backing through each amp so you'll be able to hear all those with drums in the background to hear how they might cut through a mix, again, without any processing. Now I want to talk about the amps a little bit, just to talk about how I feel about each one. All right, so first we've got the original, the Nameless. <laughs> yeah. I love this thing. Nothing sounds as mean and angry as the Nameless. It's just a powerhouse. I mean, Fortin nailed it. The next one, this is honestly one of my favorite sounds, the NTS suite taken from the Fortin Natos. It just has, to me, the perfect blend of everything I would want out of an amp. It only has two channels, but the cleans sound awesome, and you can really tailor the sound any way you want, especially with the girth and the grind controls. It's got the perfect focused mid-range, it's really clear, and it's just got 
weight to it. It is heavy and powerful. Love it. The next is the newest amp, but I wanted to put all three of the individual amp models together. So this is the Omega Granifier with 6L6 tubes. <laughs> It sounds awesome. This amp, one thing I like about it is that it's incredibly versatile. It can make many, many different types of tones. It has three different kinds of tubes. You have 6L6s, EL34s, or KT66s. So you've got the whole breadth of sound there and a lot of varieties of tones that you can get out of it. It's pretty badass. Plus, it's the only single amp that has a post EQ built into the plugin. The NTS and the Nameless are missing that. So you can tailor the, the sound even more. Tailor the town does not work. English. All right, next let's check out the Pliny. Volume. <laughs> This thing is an all-in-one package. The clean amp is one of the best clean amps I've ever heard. The crunch amp is one of the best crunch amps I've ever heard. And the lead amp for solos is unmatched. It is one of the thickest distortions I've played through. It's just awesome. I will say for rhythms, it's a little difficult for me to get the exact tone I wanted out of it. But for leads, it's perfect. I love this thing. If you want a plugin that really gives you the most versatility, this is one of them for sure. Then we've got the Nolly, and I'm playing through Cab 3, well, Amp 3 and Cab 3. <laughs> Classic, amazing metal tones. If you want to get album ready tones that you're used to hearing, Nolly's awesome. It's amp three is one of the most heard tones in a lot of metal. Amp four is a little bit over the top, but awesome for leads, really awesome for leads. The Nolly package is incredibly versatile, just like the Pliny. It's just got different tones in it and I love it. Although it does have kind of a different feel to it as well. Worth trying, worth playing around with. I love it. And now, the amp that probably surprised me and maybe impressed me the most is the Abasi. I'm going to be playing through amp three here, the bright yellow one. <laughs> This thing is one of the uniquest, one of the uniquest, wow, one of the most unique sounding amp packages I've ever heard. And that to me is a selling point. One of the things I've always wanted in my tone is to be unique. Well, Abasi nailed it. The clean amp here, actually, I like it a little more than the Pliny. It's just got this, this warmth and flavor to it that's just awesome. Amp 2 has a solid state sound to it, and it is so thick and so even sounding that for rhythms, it's just like a wall of sound off of a single amp. And then you've got Amp 3. This thing is strange in a good way. It is heavy as heck. It is powerful as all, and it has this attack switch. The attack switch just makes your pick attack go through the thing while having this huge, thick distortion behind it. But the distortion almost remains a little bit loose. But the sound is super tight because of the attack. So it's kind of got this weird hybrid sound to it. And I love it. I absolutely love it. If you're looking for some unique, amazing tones, Abasi. Really cool. No matter what, I definitely recommend that you check out all of their plugins. Get the trials, listen to them all, play through them all. 
you might want to buy them all because they really are, at least in my opinion, the best sounding and most realistic feeling amp sims I've ever touched. Neural DSP, it's awesome. Now, I'm going to run through the original riff I played at the beginning of this with the drum backing through each one of the amps. Enjoy. <laughs> you enjoyed that video if you play guitar check out neural dsp again seriously nothing beats them see if you can guess which plugin that i used in the riff at the beginning of this video if you know leave it in the comments down below i'll let you know if you were right then leave a like on the video make sure that thumbs up is blue if he's not blue turn him blue thank you subscribe i'll catch you soon see ya